Pastor Steve here, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today, and that word is power. God wants to manifest his power in your life through the love that he puts in your heart. I'm serious. God's love is indeed the power of God to be able to work in your life and in the life of others. God fully intends for us to be able to use that same power, or in this case, love, to go out and to change the world. That's how God intends to use this for us. You know, Paul prays for the church in Ephesus in the third chapter in a really fantastic way, and he helps us to see this as he goes along step by step. I want to share some of these verses with you. We begin in Ephesians 3.16. It says, I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. As God take, gives us inner strength, it comes to us through the power of his own spirit. The only way that you can love the way that God loves is if you've got his own spirit in you. If you allow that spirit freedom enough to be able to start moving around and start enabling you to be able to use the things that God shows you and to use that love that God's put there, then you're going to be able to manifest that power that God intends for you. You know, in the 17th verse, we read this. Then Christ will make his home in your heart as you trust in him. Your roots will go down into God's love and keep you strong. I love the way that the NLT takes this and it shows us that our roots can actually go down into God's own love. When they do that, it'll produce the sap that we need to be able to produce the fruit that God fully intends in our lives. And guess what that fruit is? Absolutely, it's love. So as love manifests itself in us, then we can start taking that power and actually sharing it worldwide. You know, in the 18th verse, Paul tells the church this, and may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. By the power of God's own Spirit in us, that's the only way that we can really begin to even closely try and understand the way that God loves us. When we do, that same love can be manifest to other people as well. As we pray the prayer, Lord, please help me to love others the way that you love them, all of a sudden, God's power starts emitting from us in ways that we could never hope for or imagine. And we'll get to that in a second. In the 19th verse, we see this. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. We can be fully immersed in the life and power that comes from God. Even though we don't understand it, we can still grasp it and we can still live in that love. In fact, God expects us to. When we do, we live fully and completely the way that God fully intended. You know, there's a famous verse in this whole scripture, and that's the 20th verse, and Paul really hits it hard here. Look at what it says. Now all glory to God, who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. You know, so more than you can ask, more than you can think, God's love is gonna be able to take that power and start doing things in your life that you've never even imagined. You know, you're not, you're not able to really fully understand it, so you can't fully ask for it. And yet, if you ask God for anything, don't you think by the power of his love, he'll be able to manifest it in your life? That's what this whole Bible thing and the whole faith thing is all about, isn't it? Well, I hope that this post has been a blessing for you. And based on these scriptures, this is the word that I believe that the Lord has given to me for you today. I have set aside power for you to access through my spirit in you. As you stay in me and in this power, I will sustain you by my own strength. This power will show you how great my love for you is. I'm able to accomplish so much more in you than you could have ever imagined if you stay in this power. So that's it. Let's stay in the power of love that God has set before us so that we can go out and we can start changing people's lives even as God has changed our own life. Isn't that, doesn't that sound great? Well, based on that, I believe that you are a miracle going someplace to happen. Make a difference in this world. Oh, by the way, share this on Facebook. You're also more than welcome to go to our YouTube page and subscribe there so you don't miss a single video. You can also, if you like, go to our webpage at awfg.today. Check out our blog. Check out the other things that are there. Any way that you do it, I hope to hear from you soon.